So guys, you know when you just find that weapon and you think, that's so unique, I've got to try and make a bird out of it. And that's what I've done. I found a bubble blaster, the envoy, the longhorn, and I thought, I've got to make a, 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 a build out of that. And that's what I've been using today. How's it going, guys? My name's DPJ, and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so just let me put it out of there. I ain't known for builds. I mean, it ain't something I really post, but I just had to showcase this one. Uh, I originally built it for myself, but because it's so powerful, maybe even considered overpowered, I thought, you know what? I'm going to respect soon anyway and build something else now. I'm kind of liking it. I may as well share this with someone out there that's found this weapon and thought, you know what? I'm going to try and build something like that. So if this video can help you out or assist you in any way in giving you advice on how you can make this thing even powerfuler, that's my job done. Simple as that. So the weapon is the Envoy's Longhorn, minus a plus 10. This raise, this uh, scales with strength, dexterity and faith. Faith being the holy damage, which is what the bubbles cause. Simple as that, guys. Uh, so I respect and went into faith. I put 85 into faith, but the other 10 is from my talismans. I also put uh, strength dexterity for when enemies are coming at me and I'm slapping them. You know, main people and I'm slapping them. And you know what? Because it's a great hammer, it's classed as a great hammer. It actually hits quite hard. Probably harder than you think. And I know what some other people are probably thinking, watching is thinking, you know what? That can't be that efficient because it's just you're blowing bubbles. <laughs> which you are but you know what it's way more efficient than you think i haven't got to the stage yet and i've been using this for two or three days murdering bosses and i haven't come to the stage where i thought you know what i might have to switch that weapon out for something else because it's just not working that, that that's probably coming it probably will come but right now it hasn't and that's what i love about this thing it just works it works against groups of ads it works against single target damage if you can lay all these bubbles or most of these bubbles on one target it shreds people uh, so yes, now what I will say is because I don't want a video going on for, I hate watching guys where they're going for like seven hours. I've basically covered most of these items in previous guides. So what I do is if there's an item here you don't have or you're interested in for something else. Uh, if I've got a guide, you'll find it linked in the video description. If I haven't, I'm pretty sure if you search YouTube, you'll find, you will find a guide. I'm pretty sure of it. So yes. This, but this build is based on me mainly trying to make my bubbles as powerful as possible. And it's kind of worked. So what we're doing here is we are using the Uchi Katana, which is uh, Seppuku. I'm stabbing myself with it. Paired with this, uh, Bloodlust Infinity increases the attack power. Makes this and the bubbles more powerful. That uh, scales with uh, my seal and the incantations. I'll show you in a second. It also scales with this, which is my beautiful. Helmet, which if you look at, raises the potency of bubble base skills. Amazing. We also have, like I said, these uh, raises stats. As you can see here, we gain uh, mind, intelligence, uh, arcane. But it's mainly, guys, for me about the faith. Give you That gives you five faith. This one here gives you another five faith. So there we go. Simple as that. Two finger heirloom, we have the Mocha Sorcerer, we have the Lord of Blood's Exaltation, and we have this one here, the Shard of Alexander, which I'm not long got. Doing the Alexander quest, which is pretty fun. So yes, this greatly boosts the attack power of skills. Works wonders. We also, guys, get extra damage from this here. My physic. Holy Shroud and Cracked here. Temporary boost, holy attacks, and that works wonders. I also have the uh, strength uh, nut crystal tier. Temporary boost strength, but you can change that out for something else. I mean, there's quite a few. I've just... Strength is a uh, part of the build because of the weapon scales with it, but I mean, it ain't a must. I'd say the, the whole shrouding criteria is, but here guys, it's probably something you can probably work with. Or you've probably got something I ain't got that would probably help this even more. And then, yeah, like I said, I ain't a, a build uh, kind of person. So if you have any advice for me to make this even better, I'd appreciate it. So the actual armor, um, I just do it. Just, I just got them on. I got random shit on, to be honest. I'm not even going to lie to you. So if you can if you can carry, if your equip load is good enough and you can have tank on, why not? Simple as that. If you want to go light, go light. Simple as that. Wear what you want if you want. Simple as that, people. Okay, so let me show you how things work. So as you can see, if we go down to my status, you can see the uh, the right armament there. Number three is 864. Now, if I pop my golden vowel with my seal, boom, you'll see 994. Nice. Now, if I pull out my blade and stab myself with that seppuku, Go back to it. 1,193. Nice. 
If I drink my physic, you'll see that raises even more. Boom, 1,320. Simple as that, guys. Simple as that, guys. It makes things just brutal. It really does. It makes things just utterly brutal. Now, the incantation I'm using with my seal uh, are just the Golden Vow, increases attack power and defense for self and allies. And we also have a tree heal, which, to be honest, I mean, if you're stabbing yourself more often than not, you're probably going to have to heal. Uh, and you can use your flasks, obviously. But if you got them FP points, I mean, you may as well use them. And this, this, this heals me an absolute ton. Now, let me show you. It could be due to my faith. It could be, but, you know, I'll be here all day. But it will easily, if I hold it long enough, it will basically fill my health bar. That's what I love about it. And that's basically what I do, guys. That's basically what I do. So if I'm going into a boss fight, what I'll do is I will pop my golden vow. Simple as that. I will stab myself in my stomach. Simple as that. I will drink my physic. I will stab myself once, guys. My controller is dodgy. I don't know why it does that. Then I drink my drink. Then I'll switch my thingy. Walk into the fight and blow horns. Now, the blood loss from the Seppuku, it don't last very long. I'm not sure exactly how long it lasts. I know the physic lasts about three minutes and the Golden Vow lasts quite a while too. Easily throughout a boss fight, but there's a good chance that Seppuku may wear off. I haven't tested how long it uh, lasts, to be honest, but it's still decent enough for me to shred absolutely every boss I've come across quite easily to be honest quite easily so yeah like I said I'm using the Uchi Katana I'm using my Envoy's Longhorn both in my right arm right arm left arm I'm using my seal helmet is the Envoy Crown other armor can be anything you want we're using talismans with a lot of blood exhortation blood loss infinity increases attack power this works amazingly with this with the uh, Katana and Sapuku. We have the Mocha Sorcerer, which raises stats. This is mainly for raising faith, get more damage. Uh, Two Finger Heirloom, again, raises faith, get more damage. Uh, Shadow of Alexander, just greatly boosts attack power skills. Marvelous. Then we're using the, uh, the Physic, which is the Holy Shrouding Cracktia. Again, boosts Holy Attacks, makes the bubbles absolutely ridiculous. Shreds enemies, as you saw at the start of the video. I'll play a couple more clips for you so you can watch this more so in action. It is a great build. Like I said, I will be respecting soon. So hopefully this can help somebody out. Um, and there you have it, guys. Now, in regards to uh, incantation, I should, should have said this earlier. You can put anything here. You can put whatever you want here. You can add more to this if you want. There's plenty of incantations you can use. I mean, if you like your seal, your faith's high. There's plenty that can do extra damage for you. Plenty, guys. You haven't got to. I mean, you can take this build and evolve it. Make it better. That's completely up to you. But there we have it, people. There we have it. And you know what? I hope the video helps you out. If it does, leaving a like really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more Elden Ring videos, be sure to subscribe. Again, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully, people, I'll see you on that next one.